and uh, unlike past weeks, they have decided to accept the football that they will receive, and I think Coach Kelly has done that primarily because there is no wind right now and because it is dry right now, so he's going to operate with a dry football right off, not taking any chances of what might happen later on. Mick, uh, talking about a setting for football, uh, it couldn't be nicer. It took us from right to left in the first quarter. Clark is 6'2", 200, a junior. Back for Dayton is Charlie Mouché and James Keyes. It's a short kick coming down to the tight end for the Flyers. Tony Petrucci takes the ball at the 35-yard line, gets out across up to around the fourth Our sideline with uh, some banners as well, supporting Todd Morris. Flyers in split back starting out the ball game with Jackie Green and Tim Norbert. Morris throwing a screen pass to Green in the left side, catches the ball at the 40, and is tackled at the 43. Out of the huddle now again. Dave Jones is the fullback. Jackie Green, the tailback in the eye. James Keyes wide to the right. It's second down and seven yards to go at the 42-yard line. On the option, Morris has the football trying to get outside. He'll hold on the football and go down to the line of scrimmage. Between sidelines now as Norbert and Green light up in the eye formation. Third down, seven yards to go for Dayton. Moving from right to left. Morris dropping back under a heavy rush. He's throwing the ball deep down the far sideline for Charlie Mouché. He makes the catch at the 18-yard line. It's a first down. He's inside the 10 and finally pushed out of rounds around the 6-yard line. And now they say he went out about the right hash mark. The Flyers with a big drive going here in the opening minutes of the game from Buchanan, West Virginia. Morris on the handoff to Green running straight ahead. Breaks a tackle. Loses Bumble. the football. And it's going to be picked up by the Flyers. Luckily for Dayton, it has been recovered by the tight end Tony Well, Eubank goes wide to the left. Running backs from the eye. Green is the tailback. On the option to pitch back to Jackie, trying to turn the short side on the right side corner, and he is driven out of bounds at around the 11-yard line for Harris. Dayton converting 53% on third down. They've got keys wide to the left. Running backs in the eye. Green the tailback. Morris drops back, wants to throw. Going short over the middle, Jackie Green. Jackie's got the ball inside the 10-yard line, inside the 5, and pushed out of bounds around the 4-yard line. It's enough for a crossing pattern. Appeared to have the first down. Did have the first down, but the hole will nullify. So it's 3rd and 10 for Dayton from the 16-yard line. He's wide left to the near side. The back's in the eye. Morris dropping back. Now will scramble out of the pocket. Todd runs the football inside the 10-yard line. Coming to the sideline. Down to around the 7-yard line. There's a flag down. There's two, three flags down as Morris is hit and pushed out of bounds. He scrambled out of the pocket on right. Double tight end for Dayton. They've got Paul left and Petrucci right. The backs are in the full house backfield behind Todd Morris. There's the handoff to Norbert. Crashing his way off the right tackle. Gets down to around the one-yard line. Remember now, Norbert needing two touchdowns. Dave Jones in the full house backfield. There's the snap, the handoff to Norbert running straight ahead off the left guard. He's in for the touchdown. 31st career touchdown for Tim Norbert and with 11-19 the last few weeks of the season. Mike Dubik, 27 of 29 PATs. This kick is low. It is blocked. It will be no good. So for only the third time, Dubik cannot convert the PAT. There's timeout on six and Wesley and nothing. Six nothing lead. Mark Bibbins is back to receive this kickoff. He's going to kick it off here for the Flyers. Oberst kicks him low. It's a short kick. Coming down to the far sideline, Moses Rochelle decks the ball at the 10, rolls down the sideline across the 20, out across the 30. He's got running room to the 40. Carry near as well in this kind of weather. So Mike Dubik has the ball teed up at the 40-yard line. Left-footed kicker hits it. Again, Moses Rochelle takes the ball at the 6. He'll try the same play down the sideline. He's across the 20, and not quite so good this time. He goes down. Tailback, Brian Dodrell is the fullback. They're in an eye formation. They've got it first and 10 at their 21-yard line. Sideline left, open field to the right. Flyers showing a blitz, then back off, and it's a running play. Fumble. It's a fumble on the first play, and the Flyers have recovered the football. The fullback, Dodrell, fumbled, and it's... I think, Mick. Morris, the quarterback. He's got keys wide to the left. Todd dropping back. The rush is on. He's going over the sideline to the tight end. Petrucci makes the grab down inside the 15-yard line, inside the 10. They say he stepped out of bounds. So the Flyers have it first down and goal to go with the Bobcat eight-yard line. Sideline right, open field to the left. Backs are in the eye. There's the handoff to Green. Hipping and ripping, twisting and turning, getting inside the five-yard line. Good run. The good block that was put on him. Second and goal from the four-yard line. Backs are in the eye formation. 
Dave Jones, the fullback. There's the handoff to Jackie Green, hurtling over a tackler down toward the goal line. They say he is going to be stopped at around the one-yard line. There's a flag. Jackie Green lines up as the tailback. Dave Jones is the fullback. And there's the handoff to Jones off the right side. He's down toward the goal line. He'll go in for the touchdown. Dave Jones on a nine-yard run, moving off the right side behind the blocking of Maurer and Meyer and Petrucci. Jones in a split backfield formation. Ball's at the three-yard line. Morris dropping back, looking, looking with plenty of time and throwing, and the ball is intercepted. He had plenty of time. He tried to hit Petrucci, but a nice defensive play for Wesleyan, and so the Flyers are denied again. Obviously, Petrucci. Timeout with the score. Dayton 12 and West Virginia Wesleyan nothing. the flyer kickoff it's coming down to Moses Rochelle who then drops the football picks it back up Mark Bibbins Bibbins in traffic now busts through one tackler gets across the 20 yard line out to around first and 10 for Wesleyan at the 20 yard line running backs to the eye formation Dodrill and Bibbins and there's the fake to Dodrill as Calcanus on the option pitches the ball back to Bibbins and a big hit is made by the Flyers Tim Muscle on the left picked up five it'll be second and five at the 25 yard line sideline right open field to the left Backs are in the I formation. Kalkanis again hands the ball off to the tailback. Bivens. Bivens is stood up right at the line. Is split 15 yards to the near side on the right. They've got a split end to the left. Running backs are split on a passing down. Kalkanis dropping back on third and five. Coming over the middle. Throwing the ball. Intercepted by the Flyers. Zimmer at the 40. Dugs to the 30. To the sideline the 20. And he's finally caught and pushed out of rounds at the 18-yard line. As Zimmer playing center field. The Wesleyan 18-yard line. Following the Bobcats' second turnover of the first quarter. Morris hands the ball off to Green. Big hole up the middle. Jackie getting four or five-yard lines. And Dave Jones enters the game now as the fullback. Green lines up in the eye in the tailback position. Morris takes two steps back on a pass, crossing pattern over the middle. Boucher makes the grab on a short slant. Charlie's got a ball inside the five, and he'll be a first down and leading 12-0. 7.25 to play first quarter, and the Flyers have first and goal to go at the two-yard line. There's the handoff to Norbert off the left side. He gets down to around the one as he went off a block on the left position. Second down, goal to go, one-yard line. Full house backfield in the game as Morris calls for the football, hands the ball off to Norbert off the right side. He's in for the touchdown, his second touchdown of the quarter, and the Flyers... is happening so far. A fast-striking Flyer team as Dubik tries to kick this one through, and he does. And with 6.49 remaining in the first quarter, timeout with the score, Dayton 19, West Virginia Wesleyan nothing. On the sidelines here. What? Okay, this, what are we going to do the rest of the afternoon? <laughs> <laughs> Those facts a little later as we uh, plug through the game to show you how quickly they have scored. Dubik kicks the football, coming down to Ralph Helms at the 10-yard line. Helms with great speed gets out across the 20, across the 30, busts one tackle, he gets out around the 36-yard line. Four or three touchdowns, not too bad. So the Bobcats have the ball for the third time. Two turnovers in their first two possessions. Calcanus on an option, rolls left, wants to pitch it, then keeps the ball, rolls the left side, and goes down under a wave of white shirt. Scott Foster comes wide to the right side. Dodrill and Bivens are the backs, and there's the handoff to the tailback. Bivens, and Bivens running left gets nowhere. But so it's third down, eight yards to go. Running backs are split. Bivens and Dodrill. Nick Calcanis, the quarterback, dropping back to throw under heavy pressure. He'll go down. The ball is loose, but they say he went down for a sack. It was, I believe, Millen, who averages 34.6 yards per kick. His long kick this year, 49 yards. Doug Zimmer back in single punt safety, standing at around his 37-yard line. And there's a flag, going to be delayed game for this ball inside his five-yard line. He'll hit it somewhere around the 10. Zimmer hopes to field it at the flyer 40, so Dayton figures to get good field position. There's a good snap. It's a short kick. He shanked it. It's going to come down in great position for Dayton. Hitting at the Bobcat 40. Comes up field to the 44-yard line. The Flyers are going to have lines up as the right setback. Jackie Green, the left setback. Now Jackie shifts into the eye formation. There's Morris dropping back. He's looking to go for the long home run ball. He airs it out deep to Mouche. Off his fingertips. He can't hang on. He was dying. One before the afternoon's over. That's no problem. So it's second and 10 for the Flyers at the Bobcat 39. Eubank is wide to the left now, and Morris will run the football on what may have been a busted play. He simply took the snap and darted forward. You're late tuning in. You've missed 19 flyer points. It's 19-0. 
Morris dropping back on third and eight. Under pressure, throwing the ball to Petrucci, the tight end, who makes the catch inside the 30-yard line, and he is finally caught at the ankle there. I'm not really sure where the Dayton offense is coming from. First and 10 flyers at the Bobcat 14-yard line. There's a quick handoff to the fullback, Dave Jones, who slashes his way inside the 10, down to the ninth bank wide to the left. Running backs in the eye formation with Green, the tailback. There's Morris handing the ball off to Green, and Jackie goes down, no gain. He was caught immediately. First quarter in Dayton leading 19 to nothing. Full house backfield in the game for the Flyers. There's the snap. The fake to Norbert. Throwing to the corner of the end zone to the tight end. Petrucci incomplete. He overthrew the tight end. House backfield with Collins left. Norbert center and Jones right. There's the snap. The handoff to Norbert. Lowering his body. Backing in toward the goal line. And he goes down and around the one. Perhaps inside the one. Where it will on goal to go from the one yard line. The full house backfield. They remain the same of Collins, Norbert, and Jones. And there again is the handoff to Norbert. Slashing his way off the right tackle. He's in for the touchdown. His third of the game. And he moves into second place on the all-time scoring list. And Dayton now in the here. And the, the second teamers are going to be playing a lot in this game. There's the kick. It's up by Dubik. It is good, but there also is a roughing the kicker flag. Six-nothing lead over the Bobcats of West Virginia Wesleyan, who came into the game four and three with two weeks to prepare for the game. Here's a deep kickoff by Dubik coming down about six yards deep of the end zone by Bivens, who will take three steps and then down it. Backs are in the I formation, Dodrell into Bivens. Nick Kalkanis is the quarterback. Flyers in a five-man defensive front. And this is Kalkanis scrambling, rolling right, wanting to pass the football under heavy pressure. The Flyers will string this play out of bounds, but uh, Kalkanis throws the ball anyway, and it's picked off. Musselman picks the ball off at the 45-yard line. Inside the 40, inside the 30. Dallin has none. Dayton leading 26-0 on four first quarter touchdowns. They're threatening again here. At the 23-yard line, Morris drops back, throwing the ball into the deep end zone. There's a flag. It's pass interference against Lance Fitzhugh, who knocked Charlie. Left keys wide right. Backs in the eye formation. Green is the tailback. Morris pitches the ball back to Jackie Green, trying to sweep the right side behind a Dave Jones block, but can't get much. Oh, Six-yard line. Again, the backs line up in the eye with Green the tailback. This is Morris handing the ball off to Green. Big hoping on the right side, and so he picks up three or four yards, and then he is finally caught at, at around the, the uh, three-yard line. Last week, we'll talk a little more about that later. So it's third down and goal to go from the three-yard line. Backs from the eye now. Green is the tailback. Here's the pitch back to Jackie Green, trying to get to the left side. He'll waltz in for the touchdown on a sweep to the left. Green scores with 11 seconds. To touchdowns in the first quarter. They've opened a 32 to nothing lead. And Dave Jones, the uh, fullback, threw a block that absolutely obliterated the last possible man that had a chance at. Oh, standing inside the 10 yard line awaiting this flyer kickoff. Sterner comes up, he's into the football, a high kick, end over end, coming down to Bivens, Bivens at the five, Bivens at the 10, looks for a wedge, can't, can't really find anything, now has to work on his own, get out across the 15, up to the 16 yard. Up Helms to Bivens' his right, and to Bivens' his left is Moses Rochelle. Sterner's into the football. Not nearly as deep, coming down to Helms, gobbles it up on the run at the 20, veers to the left side across the 30, tunnels his way upfield across the three, and 33 to nothing. Bobcats have the ball. First and 10 at their own 32-yard line. There's a running play to Bivens and a flag on the play, of course, as Bivens goes wide to the right, and he is tackled for maybe a yard loss. So the second quarter yards offense in the first half to 149 for the Flyers. So now it's first and 20. At the 23-yard line, and Kalkanis retreats to throw the football toward the sideline. It's incomplete in the hands of Scott Foster. The Westlands had three turnovers to zero for Dayton. Second down, 20 yards to go for the Bobcats at the 23-yard line. Kalkanis again dropping back under heavy pressure, and he's going to go down as it's Sullivan there, along with Tom Ray that makes the... Ow! Helms comes wide left of the near side. The running backs are split, and Kalkanis... Other than that, no. Two in most cases. So it's third down and 23 for the Bobcats, their own 20-yard line. Double wide each side as uh, Kalkanis scrambling left. There's another flag. He throws the ball to the sideline. There's a catch made by Foster. Nice grab. The, uh, the Bobcats here in the first half. Helms comes wide left. Foster goes wide right. 
Helms in motion now toward the far sideline as Kalkanis scrambles right, rolling, looking. Now will run the football, crosses the scrimmage line and runs out of bounds. Another flag. Only man to return it standing at the 50-yard line. The Flyers figure to get good field position unless they come through on a charge here as McMillan calls for the ball at the goal line. High snap. Flyers going to set up a return. McMillan hits the ball at the five. Another short kick. Zimmer calls for a fair catch and makes it at the 40. Uh, say it's a darker day than, than that. Scott Hullinger in the game now at the quarterback for the Flyers. Hands the ball off to Dave Jones, and Jones runs straight ahead and first down. Flyers have it now at the Bobcat 33. The ball equidistant between sidelines. Perrin wide right. Hullinger, the quarterback, on a bootleg, rolls left, breaks one tackle, in trouble, scurries left, throws the ball deep to the end zone, down in the corner of the end zone. It is Tim Eubank making the grab, but they say he was out of bounds. Left, he threw the ball running the opposite way, and he threw it deep, and it's going to be second and 10 at the 33. There's the handoff to Jones. Jones is jitterbugging his way inside the 30, down to third down and five, 28-yard line. Hollinger at quarterback, pitches the ball back to Collins. Good block by Jones. Andre can't get outside, though, a shirt tackle, and now they say not only a shirt tackle, but a face mask grab as well against a... Hollinger walks to the scrimmage line, checks his backfield out. They line up in the eye on a quick hit, hands the ball off to Jones, and Jones uh, gets maybe a yard. The Wesleyan 15-yard line from the right hash mark. Hollinger settles in, looks over the defense. A 5-2 front. Option play, Hollinger scoots left, keeps the football, tucks it in, now gets inside the 10-yard line. Down to around the five, and there's a Wesleyan four-yard line. Perrin left and a Eubank wide right. Running back to the I formation, Jones and Collins. Hollinger hands the ball off to Dave Jones. He's stocked at the scrimmage line. Now busted to the outside of the five. He'll squirt the sideline and he'll get in. After he was hit at the line of scrimmage, he popped out right and scored on a sweep. And Dayton has added six more. Vince Jones, the left corner, was the last nine nothing lead. Norbert has scored three touchdowns. Jones, two touchdowns. Jackie Green, the other. There's the snap back. Hollinger puts it down. The flag goes down. Dubik's kick is up. It is better. Timeout once more with the score. Dayton 40. Wesleyan nothing. Almost heaven. West Virginia. Moses Rochelle, Mark Bivens, and Ralph Helms are the trio to take this Sterner kickoff. It comes down to Helms at the five. Helms to the 10, down the sideline to 20. Got good speed. Look at him run across. Backs from the eye formation. And Nick Kalkanis remains the quarterback. He drops back to throw the football. Good pass protection and a nicely thrown ball very deep for Ralph Helms, the intended receiver. Three flyers back down there, and apparently one of them has stole the ball. It is a flyer interception. They wrestled the ball away, and I think it was the strong safety, Paul Ritter. Dayton leads it 40 to nothing. Jackie Green is back in the game along with Tim Norbert at running back position. There's the handoff to Green. Jackie hit pretty hard by Reuben Brown, the right side defender. The ball equidistant between sidelines. Running backs in the eye formation. There's the handoff to Green, and Jack is hit hard right away by the free safety. Maybe to throw a little pass and loosen him up again. Green lost three, so it's third and 12 from the 26. And Morris dropping back eight yards to throw, throwing the ball deep to Moucher, who's got his man beat. Charlie drops the football. It was right in his hand at the 28-yard line. Hit him a little bit, but normally Charlie Moucher will make that catch. He'll come back and get another one. Back to receive the Morris punt is Ralph Helms. Helms has an 89-yard punt return for a touchdown. Here's a high snap. It's going down to the end zone, and Morris will just take it and walk out of the back. It's a safety. The only thing that's gone wrong for the Flyers. He had no other choice. Uh, I was trying to find out who, who was snapping on the center that time. I'm not sure. Second quarter. It's now Dayton 40, and the West Virginia Wesleyan Bobcats 2. Sterner will punt from the 20-yard line, hits it very, very high, coming down to Helms at the 28. Ralphs across the 30, across the Fumble. 35, fumbles the football, and the Flyers have recovered the ball. The <laughs> Flyers now have the ball following the turnover at the 42-yard line, and Morris hands the ball off to Norbert, who is running and taking a couple of Bobcats with it. First down marker, and they bring it back. Running backs in the eye. Eubank wide left, Keys wide right. Morris throws a quick hitch over the middle for the tight end incomplete. He tried to hit Petrus Jones, the fullback, and Jackie Green, the tailback. Keys is uh, wide right to the near side. 
Split about 15 yards. Morris on the option pitches the ball back to Jackie Green, trying to get outside, and Jackie is pushed out of bounds after a little. Is converting 53% of the time coming into this game on third downs. Morris needing eight yards on third. Drops back to throw over the middle. It's incomplete. There were four black-shirted Bobcats. This side was certain, and uh, we're in these tough bleacher seats, and we got a five-and-a-half-hour bus ride ahead of us. That's what it was. It's thinking ahead. <laughs> Morris dropping back to pass, throwing the ball deep down for Tim Eubank at 6'3", leaps into the air and makes the grab. He used all six foot three inches to make the grab. And when the Flyers were third and 18 from the 50 yard line, the long bomb is given Dayton first and on the left is Greg Paul, Tony Petrucci, the tight end on the right. First and goal to go from the five yard line. Morris, the long count, calls for the ball, keeps it on an option, and he is hit hard. He goes down right now. He never had. It's moving from left to right, from west to east, as we look at it here at Ross Field in Buchanan, West Virginia. Second and goal from the 10-yard line. Morris backpedals, throws a screen to green left. At the 10 to the 5, trying to get outside of the 4, down toward the goal line. He's in for the touchdown. 10-yard pass on a screen pass left. It is down catch of the year, and it's his second touchdown of this game, and the score continues to mount. It has completed a long pass, which sets up another score, and Dubik nails the PAT. Timeout with 7-13 remaining in the second quarter. It's Dayton 47, West Virginia Wesley. Rochelle. Third, take off the flyer again. You got it. Oh, hey, I don't Daryl Sterner's kickoff coming down to Mark Bivens at the 10. Bivens across the 20 and up to around the 30-yard line. And the First and 10, Wesley in 31-yard line. Running backs in the eye. Calcanis uh, has the football and tries to jam it into the gut of his fullback, but there was a mix-up on the play. They were fortunate that didn't. Bivens is the tailback. Ralph Helms wide right. Second and 11 from the 30. Calcanus drops back. There's a flag on the play. Calcanus trampling in trouble, trying to get out of there. Bust one tackle. Now comes to the outside, but he is caught from behind as the Flyers just kept him at the Bobcat 23. Running backs are split. They've got a wide out left and a wide out to the right. Calcanus wanting to throw, comes over the middle. It is incomplete through the hands of Brian Dodrell, the fullback. Post up and then cut it to the sidelines in front of him. Doug McMillan in to punt, calls for the ball at around his 10-yard line. Doug Zimmer is back. He'll catch it somewhere around the midfield. High snap, but Dodd will check that and make it. McMillan goes to get it. Kicks it very high on the punt, but it's short. Comes down at the 48, takes a Wesleyan roll into flyer territory inside the 40-yard line, rolling to... Seven against West Virginia and six against the Flyers. So Doug McMillan calling for the ball. Good snap, and McMillan hits another high kick. Again, not very deep. Zimmer makes the grab. He didn't care, care fair catch it, and he's hit as, he, as soon as he catches the ball at the 532 remaining in the second quarter. It's Dayton 47, Wesley in two. Hollinger back in at quarterback, hands the ball off to Normit, and there's no gain on the play. Ball equidistant between sidelines. Hollinger at quarterback. Sends Ed Perrin wide to the right and hands the ball off to Andre Collins, the fleet-footed tailback out of Chicago. Bur Keys comes wide right. Eubank is wide to the left. Running backs are split with Nicholson and Collins, and here is a pass coming over the middle to the Flyers' James Keys. Keys makes the grab. And they two in the passing department. Ralph Helms is back, along with Dan Beans. At the 10-yard line, there's another high snap. Morris goes up, one-hands it, and then gets the kick off. Nice job by Morris. Bouncing inside the five-yard line, down toward the one-yard line. It goes out of bounds at around the one or two. Calcanus calling for the ball. There's the snap. Hand off to Mark Bivens off the left side, and Bivens gets maybe a yard. Come to the line of scrimmage and settle up at the three. Moses Rochelle wide to the left side. Ralph Helms wide to the right, fumble. and there's a fumble on a snap. It's another flag on the play. Let's see, as they come out of there, there's a little pushing and shoving going on. A whole lot of pushing and shoving going on. I think the ball will belong to West Virginia Wesleyan, but I think the Flyers may be the ones that uh, offside, right? They get the penalty. 1290, WHIO Dayton. Second down and three. At the eight-yard line, following the five-yard penalty, and here's another fumble. 
And it's going to be a loose ball recovered by the Flyers. It just plain flat came out of his hands. There wasn't any. Now Godfrey Wright. Scott Hollinger at quarterback. There's the snap. The fake to Jones. Hollinger off the left side on an option play. Will keep it and get down toward the goal line. And now into the end zone for a touchdown. A great bit of running by Scott Hollinger. Some shifty, quick feet. Puts Dayton. No way. Mike Dubik in to try the PAT. There's the set down by Hellinger. Dubik's kick is up, and it is good. And with three... <laughs> Mick Hubert along with Gene Chill back at Buchanan, West Virginia, where the Flyers have taken a 54-2 lead. High kickoff coming down at the 10-yard line. Ralph make it Mark Bivens. Bivens at the 10, now across the 20, down to the 30. He breaks a tackle. He's in the clear at the 40 to the 50. He's caught from behind now and inside the 50. 2.53 to play in the second quarter. Running backs are split. Dodrill right, Bivens left. Calcanis dropping back, wanting to throw and does to the sideline. There's a nice grab made on that sideline. Nine and one half yards, just shy of a first down. Second down and less than one at the 32. Calcanis on the sprint option left, tucks the ball back up under and gets the needed rip. Foster wide right, Helms wide left. Calcanis is one of six passing. He's thrown three interceptions. There's an offside penalty, or perhaps a legal procedure, but uh, the left side of that line was halfway there. <laughs> and 37% passing, <laughs> but uh, he'd take 37% now because he's just one of six. First and 15, Calcanis dropping back. He's under heavy pressure by Ted Edgington and now has to scramble to get out of bounds and he runs for cover along the Wesleyan sideline. Two yards to go. go. Running backs in the eye. Let's now the tailback Bivens lines up in a slot to the left. Calcanis rolling right. Again, heavy pressure. He's running for his life on the sideline and he is caught in front of the Dayton bench and wrestled up. So there are going to be seniors next year. To, they'll be glad to get this one behind them. So it's third down and 26. And Calcanis backpedals eight yards to throw the ball, but he'll go down as the strong safety Paul Reese comes through and gets the punt. And Doug Zimmer back to return the punt. Millen calls for the ball. Good snap. There's the kick, very high. Fair catch signal for this time by Doug Zimmer. And there's a flag down. Apparently somebody hit him had he made the catch. <laughs> So the Flyers have the ball now. 37-yard line. There's a handoff to Kyle Godfrey running straight ahead. He gets out across the 40 up to the... Would be the last play if they can snap the ball here in the final seconds. And they do get it off very quickly, and it's a running play to Mike Nicholson. And quest of Hank Ferrazin said, let's start the trophy, and it's been going ever since his 31st year for it, Mick. All right, here we are with the second half kickoff. Daryl Sterner into the football. It's coming down to Ralph Helms at the 11. Helms to the 20. Good speed to the 30. Out across the 35-yard line. Scott Calcanus, Nick Calcanus is the quarterback. Scott Foster comes wide to the left, and Calcanus rolling right, throwing over the far sideline, and it is in Cumberg State. They beat Ferrum 24-23. They beat Wesleyan 45-6. There's a running play to Scott Mollison, and Mollison gets maybe a yard to go. Moses Rochelle, a freshman from Florida, a wide receiver to the left. Calcanus dropping back. The rush is on. Calcanus loads the football, but it's batted down. It was knocked down on an intended pass. All got in there, and he just slammed it back. So Doug McMillan will kick it away. McMillan will hit it around the 25-yard line. Flyers setting up a return here. Good kick by McMillan. Very high and deep and backpedaling about six steps is Doug. Scott Hullinger will operate the third quarter at quarterback for the Flyers. He's got the ball at the 28-yard line. There's a running play and a nice shoestring tackle there. It's not up or anything, but temperature's starting to drop now. So it's second and 10. At the 28-yard line, here's a pitch back to Andre Collins trying to sweep, and he lowers his right shoulder, ducks in, and gets over the 30. Uh, supposed to be that way today. But we woke up uh, in a pretty good shower this morning. I don't know why we were surprised. <laughs> Hollinger rolling right on the option will keep the football. Hard hit, made it the back. So Hollinger gives the Flyers first down at the Dayton 42. Sideline right, open field to the left. Long cadence, pitch back to Collins, nowhere to go, and Andre will go down at last week. 
Second down and 12 yards to go at the 40-yard line. The backs are split. Hollinger hands it off to Collins, trying to get outside. He's spinning and twisting his way for maybe two yards. So it's third and nine now. Ball equidistant between sidelines at the 43. Hollinger on third down, wants to throw, coming to the near sideline. Nice catch by Ed Perrin, who slipped and got back up and caught Hollinger. There's the handoff on a running play going straight ahead. The fullback back. Perrin wide left, Eubank wide right. There's the handoff to Andre Collins. Andre off the left guard, getting maybe two yards. To on the defensive side for West Virginia Wesley this afternoon. It is third and six. Hollinger makes the handoff. Rolls left, scrambling and throwing. He's got a man. It's the tight end, Greg Paul, at the 20-yard line. And Paul is down to the 18-yard line. It is a wide open. Fitzhugh's got to be awful tired. He's running an awful lot, chasing people. There is a handoff again to the fullback, Mike Nicholson. There's a flag thrown on the play. The first penalty back to the 29-yard line. Flyers have to get to the eight for a first down. On the option, Hollinger will be going down. He was snowed under. Eubank wide to the left. Godfrey and Collins in the eye formation. Hollinger fakes the handoff to Collins, wants to throw the ball. In traffic, rumbling, running the football, and he gets to the outside. A nice block by Collins as he gets to inside the 25. He just continued on downfield, carrying it with him. It's third down and six now for Dayton at the Bobcat 15. Sideline right, open field to the left. Backs are in the eye with Collins, the tailback. Nicholson is the fullback. And there's the handoff to Andre, running straight ahead, and he is grabbed or a slot to the right. Running backs are split, Collins left, Godfrey right. And this is Hullinger rolling to the left, looking to throw the ball, still looking and scrambling and throwing the ball deep toward the end zone, but it is knocked down, it is incomplete. 54 to two. Bobcats have the ball, first and 10, their own 15-yard line, and Nick Kalkanis hands off. High formation with Mollison and uh, Mark Bivens. There's the fake to Mollison, the handoff to Bivens, off the right sideline, and it's uh, a equidistant between sidelines. Kalkanis looks over the defensive line. Flyers really packing it in tight there on the third and two play, and they're going to stop them before they can get to... At the 30-yard line. Backs are in the eye formation. Here's a sweep to the near side. Mark Bivens takes the handoff, breaks the tackle, lunges forward, gets up to and directly in front of us at their own 45-yard line. Slot back to the left is Ralph Helms. And this is Helcanus throwing the ball deep for Helms. He's double covered, and it's knocked down as Howe was right on him. Their own 45. Sideline left, open field to the right. Backs are split. Helcanus will throw. Rushes on, he's in trouble. He comes to the near sideline, scrambling. He's got to cross the scrimmage line inside Dayton territory at around the 48. Ralph Helms, wide right. It's a cross buck on our handoff to Scott Mollison. And Mollison gets down to around the uh, 45 yard line. Depending upon where they spot the ball, whether it's a first down or not, looks like it's gonna be a little short. As uh, Brad Crow and Mike Blessing combined on the tackle, it's fourth down and about a yard to go for the Bobcats. Think they'll go for it? I believe they will. <laughs> I think you're right. I keep moving you away from this spotting board. Just naturally, I'm gravitating the year uh, to my right here. So slide back in where you can read this thing, Bill. <laughs> Gonna have Dick Johnson off in the bleachers someplace. <laughs> We're in the bleachers. Are we in, oh, that's right, we're in the bleachers. <laughs> <laughs> Fourth and one, and there's a handoff to the second man through. Bobcats at the flyer 44. Nick Kalkanis, sophomore quarterback out of Florida, dropping back, scrambling. He's been scrambling all day, backpedaling and out throwing a short pass. It's tipped and it knocked down. And then with Mollison left and Mark Bivens to the right. This is the quarterback, Kalkanis, faking a short throw and now running the ball and then pitching the ball back uh, on an option play left to Bivens. So third and 17. Running backs are split as Kalkinas wants to throw, but the rush is on. Four flyers are after him. He is scrambling and now throwing the ball to the sideline. The tight end, Pat Murray, makes the grab. Running backs, Mark Bivens on the left, Scott Mollison on the right. 
Sophomore quarterback, Nick Kalkanis, dropping back. The rush is on. Boy, he has had flyers in his face all day long and falls at Dayton's 55 yards from the goal line. First and 10. There's a fumble as it was Andre Collins fumbling the football straight forward. And First and 10 now for the Bobcats at the Dayton Flyer 49-yard line. High formation backfield. Bibbins is the tailback getting the handoff, and he fumbles the ball, and the Flyers have recovered it. So the Flyer... Scott Hullinger at quarterback gives the ball off to the fullback uh, Godfrey and Godfrey getting maybe three yards. This has been a scoreless second half. The Flyers rolled up 54 points in the first half. 33 in the first quarter. Here's a handoff to Kyle Godfrey running off the right tackle and set back on the left. Ed Perrin in the slot left and Tim Eubank is wide to the left. There's the handoff on the short side of the field. Andre Collins and Andre getting about four or five. Well, again, they, they've done a pretty good job on the tailback. Third and five. There's the handoff to Mike Nicholson, the fullback, rambling forward. He's picking up a huge hunk yards last week and only 16 this week. <laughs> they, uh, they're getting what, uh, they're taking what's being given to them, and that doesn't happen to be tailback yards. No, it isn't, and uh, Andre Collins slips and slides. Regular season with a, in front of a big crowd. We encourage people to stop down to the arena and pick up tickets this week. Second and nine. Hand off to Kyle Godfrey, breaking a tackle. There's another flag. Uh, he hadn't missed any meals. <laughs> it's second and 17 as Kelly Birds, the third flyer quarterback, in the game, rolling right, wanting to throw. Will keep the ball. There's another flag as Bird just leveled out of bounds at around the 20. Have a first down at the Wesleyan 32. Sideline right, open field on the left. The backs from the eye, and Burge hands the ball off to the fullback. Mike Nick, 54, two at the half. We've been scoreless here in the second half. Burge hands the ball off to Collins. Andre Jitter blinking his way, busts through the middle. He'll take it all the way. Andre Collins is running the ball into the end zone for a 32-yard touchdown, and I don't see any flags on the field after he got through the initial win. Good play calling. Mike Dubik's kick is up, and it is good. And with eight minutes remaining in the game, there's timeout with the score. Dayton 61, West Virginia Wesleyan 2. Almost hit. Mike Dubik's kickoff coming down to Moses Rochelle at the 10-yard line across the 20, looking for an opening at the 25. Now cuts his back to the near sideline, cuts across the grain. He's trying to get away from one would-be tackler, and he can't do it. He ran about 50 game. From the 18-yard line, backs are in the off formation. Calcanus hands the ball off, and there's a shirt tackle made by the Flyers' Daryl Sterner. Now come to the line of scrimmage. Calcanus calls the cadence. Drops back, going deep, down the sideline. He's got Moses Rochelle looking over his shoulder. He makes the grab. Good catch by Rochelle, and it's about 48 yards. It'll be first and 10 for the Bobcats at the 42-yard line. There's a running play, and it's a uh, loose football. The Flyers have recovered the ball, but they say the Bobcat was down before that fumble. So West Virginia Wesleyan will hang on to the ball. Credit Sean Bush with that tackle. As the runner went by, he just absolutely got a handful of jersey, and they tried to intimidate you. I know that. Ralph Helms is wide right to the near sideline. Calcanus fakes the handoff to the fullback on the option, keeps the ball himself, spins up field, gets away from Paul Howe, and picks up three or four yards. Dayton leading 61 to two. Third and four. Calcanus dropping back, throwing toward the sidelines, too high. Couplesville, Maryland. Great speed. Calcana steps away and calls the score of the game. On fourth down and four yards to go for the Bobcats at the 36-yard line. Following the timeout, now it's Calcanus handing the ball off to Bibbins, and he has this game being brought to you in part by Stroh's Beer. Look for the Stroh's special 15-pack at your favorite beer outlet. 15 cans for the price of 12. They ran the old trap play. The only one that wasn't fooled was uh, tackled Tim Albert, who stood his ground. Runner came right through him. He was not trapped at all and just to uh, kill. Collins right and Nicholson left. Tim Eubank wide to the left with Ed Perrin wide right. Kelly Burge is the quarterback. There's the handoff to Nicholson. They're running it right up the middle. West Virginia Wesleyan ought to get on it. 
Didn't the monkey sing that song, take the last train to Clarksburg? At the arena last night. No. <laughs> okay. Well, that was then, this is now. Oh yeah. And here we are, we're not there, we're here, right? <laughs> <laughs> and Andre Collins just went down. He's yeah, yeah. normally well, running at 8.30 yeah. in the morning. It and was that's raining this morning, Yeah, couldn't so, run. Right. Here's a handoff on fourth and eight for the Flyers' Kyle Godfrey. Godfrey gets about five. It was pretty lucky, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, and you didn't collapse at all. We were, we were proud of you. Here's Calcanus with the ball on first and ten, throwing over the middle. It is incomplete. And now it's second and ten. Bivens comes in motion to the near sideline to the right, and Calcanus rolls right and will run the football to the 40, the 35, the 30, and then scampers out of bounds. It'll stop the clock. At a <laughs> so we're down to a half minute in this game now. It's First down for the Bobcats, 29-yard line. Sideline right, open field on the left. Calcanus dropping back, throwing the home run ball deep to the corner of the end zone. There's a diving catch in the end zone. Touchdown! <laughs> Scott Foster beating Paul Howe. And the it's just a chronic weakness in there now. They had it tight very, uh, taped very tightly, and uh, he did play today for the Bobcats. Ooh. <laughs> I'd give the offensive award to Calcanis. I would, too. He's been in there taking hits all afternoon. Here's the kickoff coming down to the Flyers. Dave Jones at the 10, across the 20, out across the...